Hey there, this is Julie Larson, webmistress at cloudbloomers.com, and in this tutorial I'm going to share with you a screen capture tool that I use almost every day, and it's actually a free tool. It's called Jing, and you can get it, you can download it for free by going over here to techsmith.com forward slash jing.html. Once you've downloaded and installed it to your computer, you're going to notice that there's this little sunshine up at the top of your uh, monitor and you can drag it around if it gets in the way you can move it around and what it has is it's got three different spokes on it the first spoke is the screen capture tool and by the way it has other features but the this tutorial we're only going to talk about the screen capture and then it's got a history spoke here which has got all of the screen captures that you've taken and then it's got your different tool settings over here so we're going to use the screen capture and what we're going to do is we're going to come over to my site cloudbloomers.com and let's say I just wanted to have um, a portion I wanted to take a screen capture of just a little portion here I'm going to come over here click on this first spoke that says capture some crosshairs are going to appear and you'll notice that there's some numbers in the crosshairs what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click and drag the portion that I want oh, and, it, and I released the left click too soon but that's no problem because I can come over here left click again and drag it and come up and drag it that way drag it here so that I can actually kind of crop the area that I want to include and crop out the rest that I don't. So again you'll see these little numbers here right now it's 323 pixels wide by 409 pixels in height maybe I wanted to make that uh, 430 in height and 325 in width okay so you can move it around and then um, or I could move it over here whatever you want to capture you can do big or small you can capture the whole screen but now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and capture image once I do that there's the image and I also have the ability I can keep it just the way it is and save it as a PNG file on my computer desktop or maybe I want to point something out to someone Whoops. alright so here's an arrow and I can go drag the I can left click drag the arrow around shorten it lengthen it change the direction of it click off of it and then move it click over on it again and drag it to where I want um, maybe I wanna put a note on there too so I can click on the text box and put uh, this is my Jing demo okay all right, once I've got it the way I want, and you'll notice there's different settings in here as far as the font, the size, the color. You can mess with all that, but primarily I wanted to show you how to take a screen capture. So once I've got that the way I want, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose the save to my computer desktop. So I'm going to save it um, as Jing Demo and it's going to save as a PNG file. I'll click Save. I'm going to close this here. Come over there, close that. Here it is, found it on my computer. There's my image that I wanted to capture. Hope that was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.